What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I want to do a quick giveaway with my YouTube family. I know I haven't been super regular on here as of late. I didn't do a video yesterday because I woke up under the weather, so I was not feeling it. But I doubled up in all my contests. My pockets are fat, which in turn makes me feel much better. So I want to do a giveaway with my YouTube fam. If this video reaches over 200 likes, I will select a random commenter that puts hashtag DFS squad down in the comments section. I will choose a random commenter and give you an NBA season long package. Okay? on this video, all right? Let's rack up those likes. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share it with your friends, your grandma. Share it on Twitter. Whatever you need to do, let's get these likes up. Make sure you comment hashtag DFS squad in the comment section so I can choose the winner. Here's the deal, all right? For the rest of the videos this week, okay? I will be choosing a winner on Saturday morning. I will announce it on Twitter or in my next video that I do on Monday, I'll announce the winner, but Follow me on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL and I will be announcing the winner of the season long, the rest of season NBA giveaway winner for the whole entire season. That's a deal, man. I'm excited to give it to you guys. We've been crushing NBA. Hashtag DFS squad in the giveaway. Make sure you do that in all the videos. Let's get over 200 likes on all the videos and I will select a random commenter under the videos to get that season long deal. Let's go ahead and get it, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and get straight into my first pick of the day. Here's the deal, man. Due to injury. In DFS, we all know you take advantage of injury and you run with it, okay? Our boy Kemba Walker is doubtful to play today, which means Michael Carter-Williams will be starting with his new team, the Charlotte Hornets. We all know with Michael Carter-Williams, if he gets the solid minutes, this guy can rack up fantasy points in multiple categories fairly easily. The only down part about Michael Carter-Williams is he is prone to turnovers. This dude turns the ball over a lot, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter because he racks up fantasy points easily. Him getting the start here, he's going to want to come out and show out with his new team. I really love Michael Carter-Williams going against Toronto. Lock him in at 4,200 especially, a guy who's going to get 30 plus minutes and his usage rate is going to be huge in this matchup against Toronto. It's a super steal at 4,200. Take advantage of the injury. Run Michael Carter-Williams. I love it. Next guy. He let me down last night, but I still doubled up. Bradley Beal. Here's the deal, man. A player like Bradley Beal, star, star status, they don't go two duds in a row like that. They usually bounce back the next day, and that's what I'm going off here. He only scored 21 against Jimmy Butler. I saw that coming, but at the end of the day in double ups, you want to go with a guy who's got a, who, who's going to get a lot of usage. And one thing you know about Bradley Beal is he's going to get a ridiculous amount of usage with John Wall out. So he gets over 30 plus usage in this uh, offense without John Wall in it. So he gets heavily involved. I like this game against Philly. It's a good matchup. Redick is a decent defender, but Bradley Beal is just, he's going to get so much usage. I love his bounce back potential here in this game. And I love that game in general. At 8,100, I love Bradley Beal. Real quick, I want to mention this. As we know, Ben Simmons left the last game injured. If he does end up missing, fire up TJ McConnell. Okay, make sure you remember that. Play TJ McConnell for sure if Ben Simmons ends up out. All right, but Bradley Beal, love Bradley Beal as shooting guard going against Philly. Stars usually bounce back, especially one who they need to score often to even keep games close here and going against Philly. It's a good little matchup. I love Bradley Beal here at 8,100. I'm going to rock with him. Next up, I'm going to go with Aaron Gordon. You know why? Because he's going to see a lot of Carmelo Anthony, a horrible defender. This is a guy I've been picking on all season. Carmelo's always been a guy I love to pick on. And Aaron Gordon has been a consistent option this season. He's got the 40-plus potential. At 7,000, I love Aaron Gordon in this matchup at home going against Carmelo Anthony. He has the best matchup on the floor for Orlando. Okay, I absolutely love Aaron Gordon. Amazing matchup against Carmelo Anthony. At power forward, I'm going to go with my boy Kristoff Borzingis. Obviously, keep an eye on Kristoff. You never know when he'll end up out 
just at any moment he'll end up out. He ends up out a lot. But if he plays, which I do expect him to play, he's at home going against Miami. You saw what Kevin Love just did to Miami last night. Okay, and Miami's on a back-to-back. Okay, Christoph Porzingis is going to be able to do whatever he wants. And at 8,200, I don't expect a blowout in either way. I think this game's going to stay close here. And it's a great matchup for Christoph Porzingis if Kevin Love can rack up damn near. Well, actually, he racked up 50, well, close to 50 points by halftime. I don't think Christoph Porzingis is going to go that berserk because Kevin Love just went nuts. But... Christoph Porzingis is due for 50 plus easy here. And at 8,200, I love Christoph Porzingis. He's one of my favorite plays of the day. At center, I've got to run up my boy Clint Capella at home in Houston going against the Pacers. Now, one thing about the Pacers is they have not been good down low against big men. Miles Turner is a decent center, but he's not going to be able to handle Clint Capella. Clint Capella is going to have a very solid outing here in this matchup. Last time he played the Pacers, he dropped 45 and 32 minutes played against them. Vucevic just dropped 42 against them. Al Horford just dropped 43. Vucevic previously in the season dropped 49. Capella's in a great spot at home going against the Pacers. And at 74, a guy with some amazing upside and very consistent. I love Clint Capella. Lock him in at 74. Obviously, guys, when I give you guys my high five, guys, this is my first take on it. After doing some research, looking into the slate, the guys that initially catch my eye and guys that I really want to go with. Um, as the day goes on, things change. You know, injuries pop up. Things change like that. Follow me on Twitter, at Cam underscore ATL. Get involved there. We all talk throughout the day about different plays and different ways to go about things. So definitely get involved with that, even if you don't sign up with the squad at greenlightdfs.com, which you can do if you are interested in doing. Um, It's still definitely valuable to follow me on Twitter. That way we can get all this news out there. All right? Here it is, guys. Michael Carter-Williams getting the start for Kemba Walker. Bradley Beal with that bounce back. Aaron Gordon against Melo. Porzingis. Going against the Miami team that just gave up a shitload to Kevin Love last night. And they're on a back-to-back. And Clint Capella, who's going to do whatever he wants against those Pacers big men. Uh, Lock it in. I'm excited, guys. It's a nice 10-game slate, finally. Let's hope it's not a little bum, low-scoring night like last night was. I I don't expect it to be. There's some good stars playing, some good games going. So I'm really, really excited. When it comes to the big men, I really love Russell Westbrook with that matchup. I absolutely love Russell Westbrook. Orlando has been horrible versus point guards. Westbrook's going to get 60 plus once again like he has. He's been very very consistent around the 60 range. So I really like Russell Westbrook. I also love James Harden. Those are the two guys I'll probably bounce around with. If it even ends up being one of those slates where you have to pay up for a big guy. I don't know if you will, but we'll have to see. But those are the two big men that I would be willing to pay for if I wanted to pay for. If I decide to pay for. All right, good luck, everybody. Remember the giveaway, hashtag DFS squad and the giveaway. Let's give away an NBA season long package. Thank you guys for following me. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, I'm sorry about the lack of videos. You know, things come up, but I'm here for you guys. I got you. Comment any questions and concerns, and your boy is out.